And because I also have the word this morning. Hallelujah. When you read the book of First Samuel chapter 9, we hear God, um, <coughs> Kish oiling that they were sold. The Bible says he had lost his donkeys. And he sent Saul together with the servant as they were walking around the Bible says they went onto four places and they still could not find the donkeys the Bible says when they got to Zeph and, and Saul was just about to give up he says to the servant let's rather go back because worried but the servant says to Saul we are not giving up now we are not going to give up. We must look for the seer. There is a seer around this place who will tell us exactly where to go. But Saul comes again with another excuse. Says we cannot go see the seer because we don't even have money. And the servant says, Nakin unless I'm going with me, let's go see the seer. I want to say to somebody today that your challenges are actually a setup from God. God is taking you somewhere. God has got a plan concerning your life. But when God is taking you somewhere, He has got a purpose concerning your life. And I'm thankful because you are not alone. There is a seven just you've got the help of the Holy Spirit. And He's saying to you, You're not going to give up now. You are trying to come up with excuses because it's a setup. The, the helper already has got the coins. Hallelujah. So they went to see the seer. The Bible says the Lord had already spoken to Samuel, who was the seer at that time. Had already prepared the, uh, Samuel. Or there is somebody coming. His name is Saul. I want you to anoint him. Not even aware. I'm saying your challenge it's a setup from the Lord. He wants you to come closer despite what happens along the way. But when they go to him, Samuel already says, Hey, Arian Roja, hey, Lily Tongi, the creator. That's what I'm saying. The problem is, Pila Pila, you are on your way to the destination. And the Bible says when they got to the banquet, somewhere early in the seventh, they were put more the best, best place. But the only 30 other guests, but this one were put more And the Bible said, Saul, and then Samuel gave orders. Archang Steak said, Kiliburichan Karkesa, the VIP. The VIP has arrived. I want to say to somebody, you are that VIP this morning. You are the VIP that the Lord has been waiting for. Your stake has been put aside. See, Lord, be you are marinated already. It has been waiting for you. And I want to say to you, don't worry. Don't focus on the situation. Don't focus on what you don't have. The Bible says, I never said to go give up. Let's cast in as a fairy. by your side. They will take you to a place of such joy. Maramudimu will allow them to come to an end so that you can meet him. God bless you, but the Lord, as we continue not to give up. The Bible says, when, when, when Saul appeared before Saul somewhere, and, and, and the Lord said, This is the man. At well, God had already spoken to someone. This is the man that I was telling you about. And I want to say this with money that you are that man, you are that woman that the Lord has been waiting for. You have finally arrived. God is about to anoint somebody in this place. God is about to change your situation. God is about to do a new thing in your life. Something that you never anticipated. And you thought when out the melody don't you thought to chile and to God is taking you somewhere. Hallelujah. You are that woman. You are that man. Hallelujah. Murutia re ujiga jiga omoka. Hante the setup from God. Manzo manzo ang hitile mo pelo. 
or Nagomori up and down Rinyakan, a little Jedi, what did Timela Motzeling, Mongo Zamau, the explainer, Aoko Pan Hantimudimua, Nyak, or Rotet Close. Uh, come on, we are still in church. Touch your neighbor and say, What Jiga Jiga, Hantimudimua, Nyak. I also have a word. <laughs> 